Alright, and we're back. So, back to the shopkeeper's key. Game doesn't crash this time. Only seems to happen in the menu. I wonder if they're gonna fix that bug. So, I'm gonna try and find out. Well, this is where I try and find out. Where, who that key belongs to. If you manage to spot it, you are a lot smarter than I am. Or was. Well, probably am. Anyways. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's right there as well, isn't it? It's like, now that I look back on it, it, it seems a lot more obvious. Mm. But again, hindsight's 2020, you know? So this is gonna be pretty... Crystal Cavern? Uh, Crystal Peak. Crystal Cavern, I like that alliteration. How come you didn't go with... Well, I suppose it's supposed to be a mountain. So this is gonna be pretty crystalline heavy. Still exploring this place, trying to figure out where everything is, still charting out the map. Ah, dang it. Every time the music goes away like that a bit, it's like, I feel like something's about to happen. And something does happen. It's Tizzo! Possibly my favorite character, actually. Go Mudo Mac. Yeah. Wait a second, was he insulting me on my height? I don't know why, but the first time around I thought that was like a funny joke or something like that. So yeah, here's the thing. So, because I've been... Actually, where, how does he know that stuff? Anyways, because I've been to the city first, I don't know if I was supposed to come here first. But yeah, so here they use the power of the crystals, and in the city, they use the power of souls, which seems very dark to do. Like, harnessing souls, isn't that... Aren't souls supposed to be, like, other people, you know? It's almost slavery. It's just on a spiritual level. Wait, I don't even know what that meant, or where that analogy was supposed to be going. No wonder, like, the Soul Master was all twisted and messed up, you know? Oh, yeah, that's the part I was talking about. Whoa, that floor is shaking like crazy. I didn't explore that? I can't believe I didn't notice that. Anyways, yeah, the Harnessing Souls is supposed to be, you know, bad voodoo. In any game, really. Like, you're not supposed to do that stuff. It's like dark magic and all that, you know? Hmm. Keep picking those up. I wonder, I, like, I kind of wish they were like in infinite supply, but you know. You know. So yeah, this is the part where I notice that there's something there, so I'm like, all oh, right. Ah, could have noticed the first time around. So these crystal flies. So here, I still think you can't hit them in their belly, because um, you know the crystals there, and it will probably like block the hit. Ah, goddamn rancid eggs. Very useful, but every time I pick them up, I feel weird about it, you know? Because uh, supposedly, I, I guess it's because the description says like they smell bad, and Gigi eats them. Like, jeez. So yeah, this is the central elevator thing that I was talking about earlier. And we open it up. For her easier travel in the future. Quite weird. Since like, you get pretty much free, free, exp free, free exploration everywhere you go. You... Sometimes you end up going to a place backwards. Like you come in from the back entrance and then you unlock the doors all in one go, instead of running into the locked door and thinking, ah shit, I gotta go around. Then again, I have run into plenty of locked doors in this game. It's so, uh, I guess it's almost just like 50-50, you know? So yeah, I just needed to check that it all does connect, and how far down it goes. And while I'm here, may as well just take a look around. 
I mean, I, I, oof. Oh, that looks painful. I mean, I'm eventually gonna check out all the places anyway. Why not just go through whatever's nearest? And souls. Should probably use them before <laughs> I fill up on a full soul. Pretty good downslash practice. And again, they're not exactly mobile targets. But here I am, back at the bottom, and the door is locked to the right. So I guess I was supposed to go down to the right over there, where I stepped out on. Yeah, this part, that, was, that was oddly fun. Very satisfactory. I don't know why, just ride that elevator. It's kind of scary descending like this fast. Alright, so open up the shortcut and take a look to my right. So here I've pretty much made all the loops. Well. Oh no, I haven't. So yeah, I'm just trying to finish the going column by column, like vertical by vertical. I think the thing that... Oh, don't, don't try to fight it, don't try to fight it. Oh, hey. I think the thing that like encourages players to go vertically, particularly particularly in this zone, is those like conveyor belts. A lot of them are running vertically. So they kind of give you the feeling like you should be going like up and down rather than side to side. I don't know, that's how I felt about it anyway. Because it gives a feel of connection, so instead of opening up all these unknown areas, like at the same time trying to explore too many different things, losing track of everything, it's... Oof, wow, slow pickaxes. That arc is so slow, you, you can easily run back into it. But yeah, it, um, it makes it easy to keep track of things, so instead of just doing random adventures... Ah, so now I face the pistons. They seem to be exactly one dash length, which is really convenient actually. I don't need to double dash. Here I'm a little worried. Like, do I jump in that? No, do not jump in dash. Luckily, they're treated the same as, like, you know, the toxic water and the, the spike. Wow, how did. But this one I do have to jump in dash, which is why the piston is mildly slower, I think. They almost give you just enough time to do that. Pretty good challenge design. And here, with the conveyor belt and the piston at the same time, I'm just like, nope, <laughs> maybe not today. And, ta da! I was rewarded for cowardice. Crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, here I noticed that I'm back to where I had explored before. Like, I'd been in, I'd set foot in this room before, I just never actually explored it. So, I'm like, okay. Let's, uh, let's take a look through. It all connects back to the bench, so I'm like... So that path to the right is the only place new from here. But I want to see how it connected to the bench, though. So it's like, because just because you've been in the room doesn't mean you've found all the secrets in the room. And, ta-da! Rewarded with a rancid egg. God. Rancid. What a word, huh? Uh, <laughs> Gotta be very careful of my footing. Especially in the dark. I'm, I'm glad I bought that lantern. This part would have been so hard to navigate without the lantern. And save after a good journey. Made a little loop. Connected all that, all that vertical section on the right. Now I just gotta explore more stuff. So this is when I start going horizontal. I'm like... I've seen... All the vertical like connections that could be made. I'm just gotta branch out little by little. Um, find all the things. So this is what I've been missing in this room. Sometimes it's not the big of a surprise. You can't have a surprise like every corner. But then it wouldn't really be a surprise, I guess. It'd just be random stuff you pick up. Crystal bugs. Flying enemies in general are just so annoying to deal with in this game. 
I wish the... <coughs> Oof. I kind of wish the dash would allow you to go vertically up, but then that would kind of defeat the purpose of a double jump. So as soon as you get the dash, that's like, that's just it, you know? You don't... Oh, and this is where I learned that you can deflect, I think. Maybe I learned it before. So you can deflect those crystal shots and it... But then again, I don't know, it's... I get too nervous, you know? Like, just waiting for that attack to come. And you know that if you make a mistake, yeah, it's just gonna hit you straight up anyway. So this is the point where I think... Hmm. Uncharted area. Deep hole. I cannot make the jump to the other side. May as well go for it. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I thought this fall would kill me. And I'd be safe back up there. And now I'm stuck in here. Like... What? What do you mean? The, the curse and like, it's a graveyard? I don't have a map? I'm in a new area? I'm stuck! I fell down that huge hole! There's no way out! I have to explore this place to get the fuck out of here. And the music's gone, it's just... What? The gate is... Man, this game is... Considering how, like, you know, cartoony it is, although beautifully drawn, it's really good at being scary and very pressurizing. And this is a point where I think it connects to the rail on the other side, but it's not, like, this is way lower than the other part. How, how the hell would it connect? Just doesn't seem to make any sense. Maybe there's another rail? I don't know, like, like, the tram kind of thing, like a gondola? Yeah, I still don't know how to open those. So, this is the only way I can go. And, oh man, those, the wall of faces. Jeez. And I find these three again. Now, I know I'm not going to be able to escape that white barrier. I just had to check anyway. Just in case, you know. One of the teacher, Louis, and the watcher, Herod the Beast. So these are the three that were dreamers that keep Hallow Nest existing. So now I know where the dreamers are. Whoa. So they found these three. Man, they look rough. I'm not gonna be. I'm not looking forward to fighting them. Like, obviously, they're the villains. So the dreamers are like holding a seal in place, but it's like it's breaking apart. The city's being corrupted again. The plague is aloof. You know, the introductory stuff we listen to. But I think they've gone crazy. Like, we need to renew the seals or whatever. But they're just continuing to seal it in like we need to like if you want to fix your engine you got to open the hood to fix it anyways i'm guessing i'm trapped in like some dream space here so the dreamers trapped me in some fantastic place in hopes of sealing me away and what was that talk about me returning to the city what was i from here originally like my own identity is a mystery as well and this guy doesn't talk much well, it's, um, at least this part is just a simple platforming exercise. Yeah, obviously no map. It would be weird having enemies here too, because like, why are they in the dream space, you know? Ah. I'm guessing that's the vessel as well. The white butterfly. So the vessel is helpful. I think. Obviously, it could be misleading me. 
giving you something of immense power that I don't even know how to control properly. Basically, the Y button had no functionality until this point. And now, all of a sudden, Dream Nail. And who are you, Moss Lady? The Seer. Yeah, the Dream is very ancient. They don't have much power left, I'm guessing. So now I'm on an essence hunt for the seer. So I gotta collect 100 of them. I don't even know how to collect them. And here we are, the resting grounds that I have no map for. Dream Nail doesn't seem to do much. It's like a weapon, but it charges up too slow to actually hit any enemy with it. And now I finally figured out what those trees do. So I'm... I'm just like hazarding a guess that that is essence. So this is another like, kind of uh, interesting game design philosophy. They... So, tutorials. Again, this is like a tutorial. They naturally provide you with an essence opportunity right after you learn about it. Plus, like, having this one thing here doesn't really, it's not really game breaking, because as you're about to find out, you only get 20 essence per, per tree, that is. So I gotta find five trees. So I'm like heading back up. I'm curious what the tree looks like, you know, afterwards. And it twists into the shape. Dead remembered. Penitent moth. Dreams re uh, revered? Revered or revealed? The moth, I'm guessing, is the seer. And down we go through a grave. That was my first mistake. Ah. Uh, it. Not a happy place, man. Like. Mm, I'm actually scared here. I'm just hiding there. Like. Wondering if he'll charge back at me. Luckily, they don't take too much hits, but what's that goo they drop? It's. Oh, man. The enemy design is so freakish here. It, it's like. It was very. Well, not freakish, but like nightmarish. The, the sound design. The enemy design. And yeah, it's just jump scare enemies basically. I hear a caterpillar run. And this leads up into another hall. Oh, it's just At this point I'm just like, man, I hey, I have no way of getting out. I don't Things are not looking good for me basically here. I'm I'm just not having a good time. There's a, a major story section, I got a bunch to digest, and the enemies pop out of nowhere. And I'm like, bye, just, I'll come back later. Bye. <laughs> and yeah, I'd forgotten that it was here. Man, one mistake of a jump really led me astray. Resting grounds all the way down there again. My regret, just floating somewhere in there. So, I made the obvious decision to leave. <laughs> Go back to Dirtmouth? 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 I still haven't made my mind up on that. For some reason, Dirtmouth is like. Sounds more right to me? It's probably not, though. Anyways. So I'm gonna go back. I picked up like four rancid eggs in there, so maybe that was very lucky with that spike. Anyways, I picked up four rancid eggs. May as well go back to GG and uh, you know reclaim my regret from there and uh, make it easier to you know maybe explore some other places. 
maybe return back to the seer, like, because that's pretty much the only reason I need to go back to the resting grounds, you know? Well, for now, that's the only thing I know is in there. Of course, there's exploration that I gotta do. But here, head back to Gigi, maybe, I don't know, bulk up. Maybe I'll find a charm, maybe I'll get an extra health, I don't know. And then I'll be able to... So yeah, here I noticed I came in the wrong way, but... I'm like... What do I do? Yeah, I just say, fuck it. Hey, this guy's easy now, unlike the first time I fought him, when I was just sheer panic. <laughs> it's all a matter of, um, a manner? Matter. Of learning their patterns. You just gotta be really patient. You can't panic, you can't freak out. Of course, you're gonna take some hits the first time around. You don't know what they're gonna do. But you gotta, you know, you gotta take the hits smartly. You gotta, you gotta figure out what they do and then, you know, take it from there. So yeah, from, from the last video, I, like I said, I've noticed that I'm very panicky under certain, some circumstances. So, just gotta fix that. Well, back to Dirt Mouth. Really appreciating the animation on that, actually. So, away I go to GG! Then, here we are. So is he like the Grim Reaper? He's the Grave Digger. And I'm like, well he's a spirit, so then I kill him. I didn't mean to do that. I... I didn't mean to do that. I didn't know he would die like that. I even gained an essence from it. Man, I feel really bad about that. Really? Oh boy, oh boy. I should probably check how many rancid eggs I have left. Oh, there we go, my regrets. Sorry, I knocked, off, knocked over a candle. But, thank you, Gigi. Always thank you, Gigi. So at this point I think, so now where do I go? Oh, actually, I think this is the point where I remember where one of the trees are. Yep, right on up here. Ah. They always seem to be in quite a large area where you can have this kind of, um, yeah, this kind of platforming experience. You know, similar to where I found my first, uh, spirit tree. At least there doesn't seem to be a time limit, like there's no ticking down or anything. So that's, that's nice. Because, like, this is just pretty much the first area you come to. But I'm sure other places, like harder areas, are gonna have spirit trees, and that's gonna be. Oh boy, a little more difficult to collect all that essence. I actually, come to think of it, I call them spirit trees, but I, I totally forgot what they were actually called. They do have a name. Yarn trees? Essence trees? I don't know. So just gotta collect all the essence. And that's it. So this- Oh, I just realized. This tree gave me 30. No, not 30. 29. Including the Gravedigger. So I was supposed to- Kill the Gravedigger? 
Something about rounding out the numbers. I don't know. So... I decide to, you know, may as well explore this area while I'm here. And with the wall jump, I can progress. Yay! Made that jump first try as well, come to it. I don't know why they have these little platform under platforms. It looks like there would be a secret there. So we can't go up there. Hold down to look down. And there we have it. Bunch of fossils. I don't know why this place doesn't like you know scare me that much. I think it's because I know I'm so close to the crossroads. Instead of being in like a completely unknown area. So I open that up, thinking it'll be a shortcut. Uh spoiler, it, it is not a shortcut. There's no way of jumping that high. Yeah, I may as well fill up my soul. I don't know why some stat. Well, I mean, I'm guessing some st the bigger statues give more soul, but I don't know, yeah, it's interesting to see such variation in design. Now this feels like a boss fight coming up, and it is Malik. <laughs> oh, huge barrage! Do I climb high to avoid the barrage? No. What do I do with the barrage? There's a little gap in the barrage, apparently. So I'm like, where's the gap? Where's the gap? Oh. And he jumps too. Or she. I don't really know. Doesn't seem to have a gendered voice. Dodge that. Squeeze through the gap here. Oh, gap there. Squeeze through the gap again there. Whoa. Jump animation so fast. Gotta be ready for it. And seems to like just home in onto your area over and I jump into my leg. Ah. Well, map updated, regrets over there. And new nemesis. Just gotta kill Malek over and over again. God dang it. Every boss I meet, you know, it leads to like a whole video. <laughs> well, time to get to it, you know. Just a